This is a good one, folks. Can I use other magenta or yellow or cyan inks on my Canon or Epson printers as long as they are for Canon printers or Epson printers? In other words, are they all the same? And the answer is, I know you, I know you know the answer. No, it is not the same. Okay, magenta is not magenta. It's not magenta. It's not magenta. Yellow is not yellow. It's not yellow. It's not yellow. Every ink set has been tweaked, okay, spectrally, so that the yellow for this particular ink set may not swab. In other words, if you take a Q-tip and you do a swab on photo paper, they may not appear the same, okay, among other ink sets for other printers, even the same brands. Precision Colors recently did, a while ago, not recently, a couple years ago, actually, I lose track of time sometimes. You'll have to forgive me for that. R2000 came out. And next thing we know, that printer is being used for the DTG or director garment printing industry. It was a perfect printer for that. So a ton of original cartridges were available for sale on eBay as low as $10 a set. Complete set for 10 bucks. I got 20 sets of cartridges okay, for that printer slowly now they're being sold for about 40 50 dollars a set which is still good but anyway precision colors had an original r1900 ink set that was so so it was good the gloss optimizer was terrible so we were recommending people to use oem gloss optimizer because no third-party gloss optimizer or chroma optimizer comes up to par it just really does not they're all they all fall short anyway so the idea was to get about a close to OEM match so that it would be more of a seamless transition, would not require a lot of uh, paper profiling, if you will. So he sent me a new yellow with a new ink set that he had. Soon after that, he had developed a new yellow ink. When I got it, I thought there was something wrong with it. It's back here somewhere over there. I don't have it here handy, but I thought there was something wrong with it. And the reason for that was that when I compared it to the original earlier yellow, yeah, that earlier yellow, you couldn't mistake it. It looked yellow. That new yellow looked like somebody threw some cyan in it. It was kind of greenish. I mean, quite greenish. And I thought, oh, sh yeah, I almost said the S word. Uh, Mike, what did you do? This doesn't look right. I said, hey, Jose, don't worry about it. That is correct. I know it looks odd. Well, I filled up a set of refillables, popped them in my R2000. Perfect. Perfect results with the driver. Standard image came out gorgeous. Yellows were yellow, strong. I could not believe it. See, that original yellow was yellow looking to us. The R1900 yellow. When I looked at that new version of yellow, for the R2000, it was greenish yellow. So you just cannot, okay? You cannot be going around and buying uh, magenta because, oh, this is a great deal. 700 milliliters of magenta for $50. Wow, I can print till days. There's no tomorrow and it won't cost me, you know, an arm and a leg. No, that, that magenta may not be the same spectral color for magenta that that particular printer you're trying to use that magenta on needs, okay? So please get that through your head. I know I went through that as well. I was swapping all kinds of different magentas, cyans, and whatever I could get. As long as it was Epson pigment ink, I was popping on my printers. No, no good, no good at all. So yeah, unfortunately that's the case. You will have to find compatible inks, in other words, inks that are made for that family of printers. They may be three, four, five different models that use the same exact ink per 1,000, 2,000, 4,000, 6,000 uses the same exact inks. Some of the sure color printers use the same exact ink. Some of the more advanced sure color printers use like 11 and 12 colors 
of ink. Okay, so that's different. That means that maybe that magenta will not be compatible with the magenta for the P800. Okay, so again, be careful with that. Don't think just because it says yellow, oh, this one says yellow too. Oh, I can use this. No, you cannot. You cannot. I mean, you could. You just won't be happy. You just wonder what the heck happened here. This is, looks awful. Yeah. Or off. Or not quite just right. You can't pinpoint it. And you don't remember. Oh, yeah. That's the. Yeah. Oh, I installed that yellow that I got really cheap. And it wasn't even for that type of family of printer. Even though it was Epson or Canon. So keep that in mind. You just cannot be intermixing just colors by name. Okay. They have to be part of that set. All right. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. And of course, as always, happy printing, everybody. Bye-bye.